When I was younger, not experiences as like, oh, I see dead people or, oh, I'm obviously psychic, but things like just having a knowing. You know, for me, you know, not to, you know, go to a, a sad place, but I had a really rough childhood, uh, super abusive parent, you know, verbally, physically. And however, I always had this knowing that like, this was a short time and I'm going to be out of this and life is going to be really good on the other side. Like wow. as a young kid knew that. And that's like not, you know, that's more of like a reassurance from from outside guides and outside forces. That's not something as a young kid you really think think about, you know, you're very much living day to day. Mm -hmm. So I always knew that. And then in general, in life, like certain things happening, like I knew that they were going to happen before they'd happen, like little things like, you know, scholarships for school, like, yes, I'd still execute, I'd hear about it. And I'd be like, I know that I'm going to get that scholarship, or I'm going to win that contest. And I still have to do the execution, but like, I would <laughs> win it. Um, small things like condos or apartments, like, I'd be like, I want to live on that street, or I'm going to live on that street, in my next house, and I would the exact perfect place that I would want would open up on that street. And that happened several times before I even knew my husband. Never, never wanted to get married. And I was like, probably like 21, 22, bartending and in a bar where musicians played all the time. And I remember just looking at the stage, like watching a band, none of the guys were particularly attractive or anything. And just out of the blue, I had this thought and knowing I'm going to marry a bass player. Like, I didn't even want to get married at that point. My husband is a bass player. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know him. Like, you know, a lot of little things like that. And then, you know, the I think my business journey has certainly been a journey of awakening. And I'm sure that you can relate to this. And when you're running a business, there's almost like no way not to come face to face with the spiritual stuff, the miraculous side of things, or the just like praying and begging that there are miracles <laughs> out there for you, right? Yeah. Um, and so a lot of miracles have happened in my business, a lot of things where there's like, no explanation other than the energy that I have put forth or the guidance that I've asked for. And it forces you, you know, with business, a lot of the triggers from my childhood came up. A lot of the the not enoughness, the trying to prove it. And so it forced me. I've never been religious or really felt comfortable with organized religion. So for me, then it it forced me when I was looking for some answers or starting to explore it, for, it forced me into this more new age spirituality of like just exploring and questioning things, the astrology, the, you know, all, all of the paths and started to just have a lot of fun exploring and gathering information just as tools for myself. Yeah. Which I think is how it always starts. Like we... We, we've got to help ourselves first, right? Like you do not want a spiritual healer or leader who has not worked on themselves. You know, not that they have to be perfect, but they have to be curious and on the journey of their own like self-discovery and expansion. And so I have always dabbled. And one of the things that was my guiding light was I knew from a young age, I'd say like 17 or 18, that I didn't want my childhood to like haunt the rest of my life. I didn't want it to impact the rest of my life. So I knew I had to figure out a way to to let all of that go and, yeah. and not let other people's actions impact my whole life. And I think that's that was kind of the what led me into all of it. And then through it all, just a journey of awakening. And you know, once you know stuff, you can't go back to not knowing. Mm -hmm. I had my own deep, deep dark night of the soul about two years ago. And that was kind of the final catalyst that made me start to wake up, made me, you know, was in a place, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this too, was in a place of like, who am I and what, what am I doing? <laughs> like, what is the purpose of all of this? What actually matters to me versus like what I've thought or been pretending matters to me? What is my purpose? What is meant to be my journey, my mission? Uh, and just started to like relentlessly dig into that. Like that was my mission at that time was just to like understand it all, find myself, understand my true self, rip off all the layers of um, conditioning through that. Like once you are connected to yourself, I believe you're automatically connected to also your higher self, your guides, like it automatically takes you into the next level of consciousness. 